Welcome back everyone, it's Andrew with World Journey Family coming back to you. World Cruise Day 70 Amazing Adventures in the Amazon. Um, on this uh, day 70 of our World Cruise, can't believe we are that far into it already. Um, over halfway through. We are visiting Manaus, Brazil um, on the Amazon River. Um, if you recall in our last video... Uh, we had mentioned we are the largest cruise ship uh, passenger boat to ever sail on the Amazon River, uh, surpassing Cunard's Queen Victoria uh, that set the record back in May of 2023. Um, on this day, we are um, going out on a speedboat um, to visit a indigenous village um, and to do several other things. Here we are visiting uh, the indigenous village of Tatuyo. Um, and as you can see, we got to go out and join them in one of their ritual dances. And we got to learn all about the different things that they um, do to uh, celebrate various occasions. Um, this is the chief. He went through an explanation of uh, some of the things that they do and some of their traditions and, um, you know, how they live and how they, um, you know, uh, what their culture is like. Um, we really, really enjoy getting to um, experience this. You know, really for us, it's kind of a once in a lifetime type of moment to be able to, um, you know, see these different cultures and different people and the way that they live and the way that they bring their kids up while we are trying to, um, you know, travel around the world with our kids and raise them with a worldview. Them getting to see these people in, um, you know, their natural uh, home is just a wonderful, wonderful thing. And to get to join them in their traditions uh, was really a special moment for us. Um, here is a way that they cook their fish so that it, it is able to be preserved um, longer than just a few hours um, so that it can be consumed without being wasted. Um, it's really, you know, quite an interesting way that they are able to do that. Um, and then we got to, uh, you know, shop and buy some of their local uh, things that they made as well. Um, here we are swimming with the Pink River Dolphins. Um, this was a highlight of mine for sure, um, something we've been looking forward to the whole time. Um, there you can see, um, I and we're showing a replay here as well, um, I got it quite good here in the abdomen. These dolphins, while they have sharp teeth, they are also quite strong as well. Um, very, very powerful. Um, that, I took a pretty good hit there. I'm actually very glad that we didn't let our, well, not that we didn't let our, our children, but that our children chose not to uh, get in the water and swim with them uh, because that could have been a lot more dangerous for them. Um, so I would recommend um, for those with small children especially, um, probably not the best um, animals to be swimming with um, unless you are, um, you know, staying uh, very, very close to them and uh, having maybe a parent, uh, you know, the child between two parents would probably be the best thing for that. Um, after that, we got to uh, cruising on, on the speedboat a little bit more. Uh, there's the beautiful city of Manaus. Now, there is a bridge um, that you had seen earlier, and that I believe you will see again later in this video, that connects Manaus um, to a few other uh you know, areas. Uh, that bridge has just been built in the last 10 years or so, and it has really, really um, improved the travel time um, through Brazil and through the Amazon rainforest to the bigger cities uh, there. Um, while we were on the Amazon, we came across these floating houses, floating villages. Um, it was really interesting. We'll talk about that a little bit later as well. Um, here's the restaurant that we ate at. Um, at first, they took us to another restaurant that they uh, thought we were going to, but it ended up being this restaurant. Very, very good food. We, uh, I had piranha for the first time, and guys, if you get the chance, try piranha. It is absolutely delicious. Um, 
after eating, we got a surprise trip into the rainforest. We didn't think this was going to be included. Um, we didn't expect this, but our guide was like, hey, let's go ahead and take 20, 30 minutes and go out into the rainforest. I'll tell you about some of the things. We saw these uh, wonderful monkeys. I believe they're capuchin monkeys uh, based off of my re research, but I could very well be wrong. Um, now, one of these monkeys, as you are going to see here, he is going to start getting off of the tree and go down toward the uh toward the bridge that we were walking on um my daughter we didn't think about it but she had a can of pop in her hand now i'm not going to show you video of her because she had gotten very scared um and uh she had asked me not to include it um but uh the monkey had come right up to her and um you know had you know, I think he was quite interested in the can of pop that she had. There she is here afterwards. Um, but, uh, you know, the monkey was quite interested in the can of pop that she had. Um, and if it hadn't been for her screaming and making a loud noise, he may have tried to get the can of pop. But instead, the screaming and making a loud noise um, warns the monkey uh, that she was scared, which in turn scared uh, the monkey as well. And he ran off. I assume thereafter uh, grabbed the can of pop from her and um, we no longer had that being an issue. Um, a little bit later on in our um, journey through the rainforest jungle, um, we came to this little clearing where we found this little pond, beautiful, beautiful lily pads, also a caiman. Uh, you know, we might think of it as crocodile or alligator, but there was a caiman in the um, in the waters here and uh the caiman decided to go fishing um here you're gonna see uh the caiman in just a moment here anyway um i had more pictures of the lily pads than i thought here's the caiman um going and doing a little fishing um i'm you know we thought at first he was just sleeping but he was on the prowl he was waiting waiting and you know and wake for the right moment to get his fish and he got it and you know it was really really neat getting to see him in the natural habitat there and um you know getting to see him in action um some of our other friends did a night visit um where they got to see the caimans at night time um but this was you know really really a neat special moment after that we got cruising again we came through a floating village. I told you a little bit earlier that we, there are a lot of floating houses, floating villages. Um, but, uh, you know, this is really, really neat. So they have a floating village here, about 80 um, houses total. They have a supermarket, a school, all the things you need. Now, for bigger things, you do need to travel to the big city of Manaus. Um, but it is really, really neat getting to see that the houses rise and go down with the tide. Um, and they last typically about 10 to 20 years, which I think is pretty, pretty impressive. Um, and then we got to, um, after that, go and visit a um, a little fishing area where we got to uh, fish for the largest fish in the Amazon um, and get to feel what it was like to be able to, you know, haul in this creature. Now we've fished uh, with uh, just poles and it was in an a area where they had these uh these parimas um ready and uh just available to you know feel how it is to catch these wonderful wonderful creatures my son uh ended up getting five of them on his um rod and um rope while i got a few as well and you know everybody in our group just had a fantastic time and here we are at the meeting of the waters so the meeting of the waters here is where you have the uh dark water of the rio negro and the more pale sandy colored water of the amazon river um and they are meeting together and we were lucky enough after the rain that day we got this beautiful rainbow and i don't know if you guys can tell but on the far left side of that um, here there is the faint faint appearance of a double rainbow as well um, and that was just really really special moment now with that uh, rain or with the um, waters there's a vast difference in the temperature of the water we got to feel the water and uh, feel that difference in temperature Anyways, a great great experience great great moment if you guys get the chance make sure to visit um, 
the Amazon rainforest um, in, and visit Manaus, visit the indigenous tribes, get the full experience when you guys go, okay? Um, anyways, we hope this inspires you guys for your travels. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and like always guys, happy travels.